hey, guess who I feel good about today after hearing Ryan Day and Greg Schiano speak about the Ohio State football team for the first time this season? Bill, Tim, Doug. I feel good about Bill Davis, linebacker's coach. I feel the best I've ever felt about him. Some would say I'm irrationally mean to him. Tim, why do I feel so good about Bill Davis? Because he put Baron Brown, who is Baron Browning, starting at linebacker this year. He's starting at middle linebacker with Tough Borowin not necessarily 100 percent. Although Greg Schiano thinks he could play as early as this week. What? Why do I love Baron Browning, and why is that a big deal? Because Baron Browning was one of the top recruits in 2017. He's a guy who could play all three positions, and he's a guy that I know, Doug, personally, you've personally wanted to see for a while in some capacity. We didn't get as much of him maybe necessarily as we wanted to a year ago. Now he's a starter. Now he's a guy that we're going to see if he can live up to that five-star, those accolades that he came out of high school with. Why am I also excited about Pete Warner? Because I live in the world, and the whole world is excited about Pete Warner. What's the deal? I think there's a perception of how Ohio State sort of settles out starting jobs and I think it's partly true that it's kind of just like well the older guy gets it and then if he's not good then we'll put the younger guy in now they're just playing the younger guys like if I, if I would have asked you in the spring we're going to be three, star, three starting linebackers you wouldn't have said Pete Werner's name you probably, I, I would not have said the three guys they announced no maybe, maybe you would have said Malik Harrison not maybe, that group of three right maybe, maybe you would have said Byron Browning but certainly not a middle linebacker and you definitely would not have said Pete Werner Keandre Jones you would have said um I don't know, Justin Hilliard maybe. Like, I think it's a great sign to, to just back up what you're saying, that, that they had battles in camp, and like some guys are nicked up, and maybe that has a part to do with it, but they're playing the young, talented guys, which has not always been the case here. I think that linebacker group's going to be good. I'm, ex I'm legitimately excited to see what they do on Saturday, and then they're going to get Tough Borland back. He may play on Saturday. Greg Schiano said, we thought he might miss the whole month of September. You're skeptical about seeing Tough Borland Saturday? Yeah, and it's not big, like – I doubt it. His ability to come back from that injury uh, so quickly. First of all, I don't doubt that anymore. I just like, why? What do you get out of playing a guy coming off an injury against Oregon State? I wouldn't play him until TCU or like work him in solely against Rutgers so he can play against TCU. But I don't see any value in playing against Oregon State. I think the thing that's going to be interesting going forward is Baron Browning and Tough Borland are very different players. I think they can both help this team in different ways. I do think they'll rotate. I think Baron Browning may end up playing outside and inside at times. Um, I think Tough Borland is. My guess after seeing that will be Tough Borland is not like the every down middle linebacker, which is what he basically was the second half of last season. And I don't think that's what it's going to be. I think he's going to play a lot, but I think it's good that those three guys they said are in those spots and are going to be a big part of this defense. Bill Davis, I'm coming around on you. Bill Landis, Tim Bielek, Doug Maurice, we're talking football and the Buckeyes at Ohio State spring down formal